Hey y'all, hey. I hope y'all can hear me. I don't know what y'all see. And I say this all the time because I know I be getting on here and how's this? I don't know. Um, a lot of times I get on here and I be looking mad rough y'all. But I'm not into vanity. Like this is naturally who I am. So I don't feel the need to do all this extra, put all this makeup on. I will one day. Every now and again I do want to get glammed up. But this is a quick little message and I just want to get it out there real quick. I hope y'all can see me like this and I hope y'all can hear me. Um, but I had to do this real quick before I work out. I'll let me show you. Hold on. This is where I am. I work out here every day. Every day I run up and down this hill. Yes, your girl does. And I quit smoking again. I quit smoking again. I quit smoking again. And as you can see, I'm full of energy and joy, which is great. <gasps> okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so I quit smoking again on, dang, let me do it this way, because again, I don't know what y'all see. I quit smoking again on August the 2nd, and I'm 37, so I was like, I'm going to quit for 37 days, God. I want to quit forever. I promise you I want to quit forever. But I just, <laughs> sorry, it's a beetle. Please don't come over here. Please don't come over here. Let me hurry up with this message, okay? Um. I don't want to keep smoking for the rest of my life. I really don't. And I want to quit permanently. But for now, I'm fasting from the marijuanas, the ganjas, for 37 days. Uh, I really don't want to be smoking when I turn 38, which is coming up in November. Uh, but let me get this message out real quick before this beetle come and get you, girl. Okay? I'm watching you now. I'm watching you. What I want to say is... I don't know how to say it, y'all, but I'm going to just try to get it out of there real quick because y'all know I do this. I do this. I ramble and I got all these thoughts. I should have write it down. I should have wrote it down. I need to <laughs> because I, it's hard for me to stay on topic, as you see. I'm trying to explain to you why I'm not staying on topic and I'm not on topic now. Okay, this is what came to me today and pretty much is that, <laughs> no, for all those crap aside, all these new age teachings and everything that are teaching these people that uh, you are God. Uh, God is inside of you. Yes, God is inside of you, but you are not God. Ye are like gods. Little G, you're like gods. You're not. But I get, I get it. But what I'm trying to get at is all these people discredit the Bible, right? But then the information that they're gaining the knowledge that they're learning comes from another book a man written book so let me see the holy bible has been around for thousands of years maybe hundred thousands i should know this but i'm just saying right and y'all discredit that book even though there's evidence there's proof yada 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 but then y'all go to the library or order a book online and y'all read it and all of a sudden no this is what I believe in now, and it's about Egyptian stuff and Kemet and yada, 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 and just blase, blase, blase. It's all about all this stuff. Okay, so you discredit one book, and you credit the next book. They're all man-made books. Only difference with the Holy... <laughs> the only difference with the Holy Bible is that it's not only man-written, but it's inspired by God. You know, God, people didn't just sit there and, oh, I'm going to just write however I feel. I'm just going to write this. No, <laughs> they listened for what God told them and then they wrote it, okay? Or they was there at the time when Jesus walked on the earth, okay? And they gave witness statements. That's just like if someone came and, I don't know, robbed a bank and you got about 20 people, 100 people outside, whatever, doing their thing, you know, each one of them people are gonna have their own experience of what happened, what took place on the bank robbery, right? You do know that, right? Okay, so it's witness statement. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, let me hurry up and get this out because I swear I be trying to make short videos. I'm watching you, bud. I try to make short videos and it does not work out that way. So let me get on topic. Back to what I'm saying. Y'all keep discrediting the Bible, okay? And then y'all be like, I even have people in my family that say stuff like this. And at the time, I just didn't know what to say back. But I'm on it. I'm on your But I'm on your Buddhist Maximus and Medius and uh, I'm on it. Okay? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, they'll say, like, y'all keep waiting on Jesus to come back. Ain't nobody gonna save you. You gonna save yourself. 
if Jesus was really coming back, why he ain't here yet? Y'all gonna keep waiting? Y'all gonna keep waiting like a fool? I'm gonna tell you this right now. Stop playing. Mm -hmm. Stop playing with God. You know why? Because y'all keep saying why he ain't back yet. Not, and you're failing to realize that he's trying to give you time and everybody else time to get it right. So all y'all that saying, oh yeah, yeah, we know Jesus come save you. He ain't finna save your black ASS. I'd be like, well, and somebody said, uh, Jesus couldn't even save himself. What makes you think he gonna save you? Oh, it's the audacity for me. He couldn't save himself. What are you talking about? He fulfilled his mission. <laughs> he was put on earth for a certain mission. He fulfilled the mission. Had he saved himself? Oh, look at the hawk. Oh, God, I love you. Look, I'm not lying. Look, 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 look. Can you see it? Oh, it went away. Oh, look, it's right there. It's right there. Y'all see it? Y'all better look that up, okay? And I'm sitting here speaking God's word, so I know I'm on track because hawks represent something spiritually, and it just flew like right here as I'm speaking. Anyways, but that um, if he had saved himself off of the cross, uh, we wouldn't be here. You die instantly. You commit a sin and you die. For the wages of sin is death. Y'all understand that? For the wages of sin is death. So you better be happy. You better be grateful that you have not been repaid for your sin. And that you're still alive and breathing, enjoying all the free liberties that God has given you. Stop playing, okay? Stop playing with my best friend. Oh, it went away. I love you too. Anyway, stop playing with my best friend, okay? He has not come back yet because he's waiting for everyone. He's giving people a fair chance to get it right. Because if Jesus was to come back right now, are you ready? As much as I love God, as much as I love Jesus, I'm not even ready. I, oh, I'm shaking. I have a lot of goals and dreams and t I have so much stuff to still do. And that's why God keeps waking me up every day because I'm not done yet. But let me finish this. Okay, because I'm done. That's all I want to say is stop rushing Jesus to come back, baby, because you're not ready for that. Okay, watch what you say. Watch what you do. I'm going to go. I got all this, oh, this wonderful energy since I quit smoking, y'all, and I love it. I may never go back. For what? Why would I go back? At first, I didn't think I could quit. Okay, that's another video. Let me stop. You see what I do? I need a friend. Jesus is my friend. God is my friend. But I need a physical friend here on earth. Because I'll talk. I won't over talk you. But I like to talk. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me go work out. Oh, hold on. I'm not trying to show off my body, y'all. But I am proud because... Your girl has had a gut for years, and that's a whole nother video, too. But can you see this? I don't look seven months pregnant no more. Okay. That's not what it's about. Get it right or get left. All right. Till next time, be you, stay true, and remember always that the Most High loves you. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>